Hi, my name's Sasha. I'm from Deluxe Customs in Melbourne. Here we have a pretty iconic car, um, originally built by a guy called John Ziegler. It's a 1974 model Holden HJ Ute, which has been heavily customised back in the old school, like late 70s, early 80s. So it's obviously a historically significant car. Um, it actually, when he, when John built it, um, he won a trip to America because, you know, there's something to do with the quality of the build. Yeah, it's quite an honour for us. Originally they purchased the car brand new. Um, when the car was purchased, he, you know, didn't want to be like everybody else, so he started customising the car. Um, the spoiler that's on the car was originally a prototype from GMH. Um, so he put that on there, so he pulled it down to absolutely nothing and started customising the car. It was originally actually featured in the first Mad Max movie and that's where it had, like it was all candy um, green with lots of different graphics and things like that. Uh, the interior and then all the modifications that you kind of currently see. The original owner, John Ziegler, has got a son whose name's John Ziegler as well. I've built quite a lot of cars for him and this basically was passed down from his father who's still alive um, and John decided that, you know, the car was looking a little bit shabby. It had a, a few little incidents with it and he decided that he wanted it to look, you know, as his father built it as like virtually a show car. Well basically what we're doing now is I'm trying to do a, a restoration that's sympathetic to all the three reincarnations that the cars had. So basically the original car with the first spoiler and things like that, then the car that everyone saw in Mad Max which was the green with all the graphics and then the car was reincarnated as a car called Black Heart where they cut triangles in the, the rear, they removed all the front spoilers, um, they, it used to have like kind of a faux bonnet scoop on it, they removed that, they put the, the Z back into the bonnet. So what we're trying to do is, we're not putting our own taint on it, we're trying to do a restoration that shows what it has been over the years. We're going to re-put all the graphics as it was authentically, we've got all the different photos and things like that to know exactly where they went and we've got um, a company called DNA on board which are going to sponsor us with the paint and we're going to do a whole series of spray outs to basically make it as it was but with a red theme rather than a green so it'll be predominantly base coated in black and then we'll mask out panels and then do gold and um, red candy sort of fades on it as it was when it was green. When it was black they cut the front spoilers off the car and they cut the triangles into the back. What we've done is we've um, regrafted all the um, front spoilers out of steel. We've welded the triangle into the back and then we've kept the inside as it was. So it kind of shows the two different themes of the car. Um, everyone kind of probably looks at the car and it's like, oh, why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? What we're trying to do is to keep as much of the original car as we possibly can. Like, I don't want to re-chrome things or anything like that because basically, like, it's a little bit of a, a thing, like a, a family history. And I think that the less that we touch is going to make it more authentic, you know, because you know, sadly, like when his dad passes away or whatever, that there's still going to be physically things on the car that his dad has actually laid his hands on. And I don't kind of believe that it's up to us to, you know, change the wheels or do anything like that. This is not about us. This is kind of about, you know, keeping the family history together. Hi, it's Sasha here again from Deluxe Customs. Um, this is Polly, our master custom painter extraordinaire. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, basically since you've seen us last time, we've been down to DNA Paints and done a whole heap of samples for the customer to work out, you know, what he wanted to do with the car and basically what sort of represented the car as it was. And this is kind of the design that we're going with. So we've based the car with uh, three coats of DNA jet black, or pure black, sorry, as they call it. And now we're just trying to lay up the design, working out where every, all the lines are going to fall. Um, so I've got one side of the car is all laid up. That's the easy part. Now the hard part is replicating that on the opposite side of the car. Um, yeah, so we can maintain some symmetry. Um, I'm John Ziegler, uh, John Ziegler Jr. actually, um, as known. Uh, my father's John Ziegler, he, he, he built the car, um, you know, in fact in its three or four manifestations over the last 40 years. Um, kind of had, had a couple of really good experiences in terms of being built and then sort of reborn. and. Then I had a, a bad experience with a little accident and dad being the kind hearted guy he was, he, he gave it to some apprentices down at TAFE and told them to do what they liked with it and um, as long as they fixed it for free they could sort of pretty much go for it. So it's been sitting in the garage for the last 20 years kind of needing to go back to be the car and the sort of standard of perfection that, that dad did and everything. So, you know, I waited for a fair while to get Sash to sort of free up. He'd done a couple of cars for me already. And um, sort of bought it here and we started to bring it back to life. Uh, part of the trouble was, it, you know, it was originally known as sort of techno, or I always call it techno, although I've been told no one else calls it techno. Uh, it was green and sort of multicolored. And uh, the car then went to black, Sorcerer, because Dad always, uh, wanted to build a car himself. He wanted to create a unique car and, and create a Ziegler car and never quite did that. He did a lot of hot rods, he did a lot of vintage cars, but this was kind of his indulgence in trying to build a car that was sort of his creation. So back in the days it was pretty radical um, in its manifestations it's also been quite radical and I think now what we've tried to do is is not lose the heritage of the car. You know, the first thing I did when I kind of finally got control of it was I thought, great, you know, Mad Max, I'm going Mad Max, I'm going to put a big blower and a 454 engine in it and turn it into a drag car. Um, but I quickly realized that that would have been not the right thing to do with a car with so much uh, heritage and uh, provenance. So within, and that's been the journey the whole way uh, through, is how to keep the heritage and, and nature of the car that dad built and kind of live up to its different manifestations. So we've taken the car back to the original heritage that kind of had, but because it was black and it looks a fantastic black, we've tried to keep the elements of the black in the paint job. 
uh, with the original design. So um, working with the guys at, at Deluxe, um, you know, we had a lot of debating and a lot of wrestling and a lot of toing and froing to try and keep that that sort of uniqueness and, and build a car back to really something that would have been a true remanifestation of the original car that, that Dad had um, uh, created. It's really exciting. Um, Paulie and Sash have done a, an incredible job on the car. You know, I didn't imagine it come up like this. You know, I wanted to bring what Dad's legacy was back to life a little bit and uh, give it respect and honour. And I think uh, the guys have done that in, in droves. In fact, as Dad said. Um, you know, I can't stop looking at it. And he said he'll go to sleep thinking about it again, which is fantastic. So, and for me, it's, uh, you know, it's been a journey that sort of showed me some of the character that my father put into the car, the inventiveness of the time that, you know, was not done today. So it wasn't a, a car that somebody just put some bits on, that's where it started. It became a car that was sort of reinvented and then reinvented sort of the whole element of uh, hot rodding. Went around the country, won every show in the country, national hot rod, and I'm really proud of my dad because of what he did. And to have the opportunity to bring that back to life a little bit oh, is fantastic. Help. Had help. <laughs> had help. No, it was very good. Yeah, there were a lot of people involved. And I think that's the other nice thing about the car is it's Dad's car and he had the courage to take journey, but there's so many people that have had a part of this. And, you know, the encouragement from people, the upholsterer who had, who has had the, uh, a poster on his bedroom wall for the last 40 years of the car and he slept with it every night. You know, that, that's a really nice part of car culture. It's kind of what makes Melbourne, Melbourne. And uh, it's part of the excitement, all those people that have helped. So thank you to everyone. Uh, great job, really, really proud. Yeah.